Hello everybody, this is Crystal. So today I am going to show you how to make this hat to match um, a couple toddler dresses that I have made and I will show you in case you have not seen them. Now this I made to be a bonnet style hat. So the brim I did not want to stick straight out. I preferred it to come taper down a little bit to look bonnet style, sort of more old fashioned. That's the, uh, I, the look I was going for. At the end though, I will tell you what you can do if you prefer the visor style hat. Um, it does have a brooch on it. My daughter prefers, adores the bling, just like her mama. We're into the sparklies. So um, this hat I made for my daughter um, it should fit a size um, probably uh, three to six, six X, something like that. Um, if you want to make it bigger, I would suggest uh, using a bigger hook or doing another round of increases at the top. And if you want to make it smaller, I would use do one less row of increases. And of course, you can always do a uh, leave off a row of double crochet for a smaller child. But as it sets, you know, three to six, something like that. My daughter's wears a size, my daughter's four actually, but uh, she wears a size six, so she's a big child. So as you can see in the photos, I do have a dress to match. If you have not seen that, it's very, very pretty. Um, I will put a link below in the description box to the video for this dress. She is wearing a slip underneath the dress. Um, you can buy those at Amazon. But if, if you have not seen this, if you or if you made this, you need the hat to match. It's so old-fashioned looking. I love the look of the old-fashioned times. You gotta have the matching set. It's gorgeous. Remember, link to this dress below. Also, not only will this hat match that dress, it would match any of Evelyn's dresses. I made this one in pink. I could use the same hat pattern in the same color yarn. I can make it solid pink leave out that colored line or i can make it with the color line however but you know you can use this hat for multiple dress patterns because it's basically all uh double crochet and single crochet i made it that way for the purpose of it to match evelyn's a lot of evelyn's dresses um or you can make it to the color to match a lot of dresses that i have on my channel i'll put a link below to this dress also in case you have not seen it so let's go ahead and get started on this beauty so for this project, I am using a Lion Brand Pima Cotton, a very nice, soft, lightweight cotton yarn. But you don't have to use this yarn. It is a medium weight number four. So any medium weight number four yarn will work. Um, just remember though, during the summer months, um, cotton is cooler and bamboo than acrylic, but you can still make it with acrylic if you choose. Um, there are 186 yards in this skein. I'm going to say you're going to need about 125 yards to finish the hat. That would be my best guess. And the color that I use is called a dragonfly. And then for that white uh, color that you see there, this row, brim row, um, I use the same yarn in the color of vintage vintage for her little vintage dress that matches it and then i'm going to be using a size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook if i can get that to focus in now remember i'm going to put a link to that dress below both dresses and it'll tell you how to size them to a couple different sizes to your liking and remember you need that matching set the hat and the, the hat and the dress is so so old-fashioned looking so cute also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials or any of my yarn videos or anything that i do on my channel uh look me up on instagram links to that below in the description box also facebook if you wish um and again links to those dresses in the description box and in the comments section so you can get started on those too so let's do this all right, first off, we're gonna go ahead and start with a slip knot on our hook. And now we are going to work a chain of four. So there's one, two, three, 
four. Now I'm going to slip stitch back into my first stitch to form a ring. If you prefer to use the magic circle here, that's fine. Just like that. Now I'm going to chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. It doesn't count as anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to work back through the center of our ring and we're going to work 12 double crochets. So we yarn over and we go through the ring and then we draw up a loop and then we just do our double crochet as normal. And we want to work 12. So that would be one. two, three, four. All right, once you've got your 12 double crochets, you can usually pull your tail and close up that center circle a little bit more, and then later on we'll sew it together more at the end. So you got your 12 double crochets. We wanna go ahead and end round one by slip stitching into our first double crochet. Don't go into that chain one go into the first double crochet just like that and you'll have a total of 12 stitches now now we'll start round two and we're going to start by chaining one chain one does not count as a stitch we're going to go right back in to this very first spot that we slip stitched into and we're going to work two double crochets into that spot so there's one go back in again and there's two. Now what I'm gonna do for round two is I'm gonna work around and I'm gonna put two double crochets into every stitch all the way around. So each stitch will get two doubles. Just like that. So two doubles in every stitch until you make it back to your starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of round two um, I put two doubles into every stitch and I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. And now at the end of round two, you should have a total of 24 stitches. Now I'm going to start round three by chaining one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat what I did for round two. So I'm going to go right back into this very first spot here that we slip stitched into and I'm going to work two double crochets. So there's one and two and then i'm going to work around putting two doubles in every stitch until i get back to my starting point so round three is just a repeat of round two just like that two doubles in every stitch back to your back to the beginning all right, I have made it to the end of round three. You should have a total of 48 stitches now. We're gonna end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. Now we're gonna do another round of increases. What we're gonna do is chain one. Now we wanna put three double crochets in a row. So the first one is gonna go right back into that same stitch. So there's one, and then we're gonna go to the next stitch and put one double crochet. There's two, and then we're gonna to go to the next stitch and we're gonna put a double crochet. So that's three double crochets we did in a row. Now the next stitch is going to get two double crochets into the same stitch. And that will be the repeat for round four. One double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So there's one, two, three and then two doubles into the next so I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way back around until I get to my starting point one double one double one double two doubles one double one double one double two doubles all the way back around to the beginning all right I'm coming to the end of round four my last stitch has two double crochets in it and then I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet and you should have 60 stitches now. Now we're going to for round five chain one. Now we're going to be doing rounds of one double crochet in every stitch to form the hat. So I went back into that first stitch and double crochet. Now I'm just going to work around 
and I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch until I get back to my starting point. So I won't be increasing here. Just like that. So continue working around one double in every stitch until you make it back to your starting point. All right, so I went made it to the end of round five and I ended by slip stitching into my first double crochet and I had a total of 60 stitches. What I did is I went ahead and repeated round five for a total of eight rounds. So that's starting from round one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I repeated round five, one double crochet in every stitch for until I finished out round eight. Okay, so I have four rounds of one double crochet in every stitch. So I still have 60 stitches and I slip stitch right there at the end of round eight into my first double crochet. I'm going to tie off now and I'm going to add a different color because you don't have to do this if you don't want to, if you don't want to add another color. But I'm going to add some white, kind of white I guess, off white. And I'm going to do a band of single crochet, but I'm going to decrease. So you want to start just somewhere near, near the back here where the seam is. And I'm just going to start in any stitch that you want towards the back. Go into the stitch and chain one. So what we want to do is three single crochets in a row and then we'll do a single crochet decrease. So we'll start by going back into that first stitch and do a single crochet. We want to do three in a row. So that chain one we did does not count as anything. So that's one, two, and three and now we're going to do a decrease single crochet decrease and that has worked over two stitches so we're going to go into the next stitch and draw up a loop and then we're going to go into the next one after that and draw up a loop and you'll have three loops on your hook you want to yarn over and go through all three so that took two stitches and made it into one and that's the pattern we're going to repeat now for round nine one single crochet into the next three stitches. I'm trying to hide those tails as I go. One, two, three, and then a single crochet decrease over the next two. So you go into the next one and drop a loop. And then the next one after that and drop a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three. And then we repeat it again one single crochet into the next three. That's one, two, three, and then single crochet decrease over the next two. So go into the next one, drop a loop, and then the next one, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three. So I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around until I get back to my starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of round nine. Now your last stitch should have been a decrease, which mine was. Here's my first single crochet, and here is the decrease. You should have a total of 48 stitches now. Now what I'm gonna do is work rounds of just one single crochet in every stitch, but I'm gonna work continual rounds, which means I'm not going to end them by slip stitching. So you're gonna need some type of stitch marker. I'm just gonna use a piece of yarn. And I'm going to put it right here. That way I know where I end and where I begin. So what I'm going to do for round 10 is jump over here to the first single crochet and I'm going to single crochet into it. Like that. And then I'm going to work across, putting or work around one single crochet in every stitch until I get back to my stitch marker. So no more decreasing on this bend part that we're making. We're just going to be working rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. So right now I am on round 10 
and I'm going to work my one single in every stitch until I make it back to my stitch marker. All right, I've come to the end of round 10. I still have 48 stitches and I'm at my stitch marker. What I'm gonna do is pull it up. And for round 11, I'm just gonna continue around again, putting one single crochet in, in every stitch around. All right, so what I have done is I repeated the round of single crochet until I had a total of 12 rounds from the beginning. So starting up here, you should have a total of 12 now. Um, and whenever you make it to your stitch marker, you can go ahead and remove your stitch marker. You still should have 48 stitches. What I'm gonna do is slip stitch into the next stitch and then tie this off like that. Now I'm gonna go back to my main color for round 13. So we're not gonna need that stitch marker anymore. You wanna start back here. Um, I'm just gonna start where I left off. And what we're gonna do is pull our color through and chain one. Remember the chain one never counts as a stitch here and we're going to go back into the same spot and double crochet so what I want to do now for round 13 is three double crochets in a row so that would be number one the next one number two and then again would be number three and then the next stitch will increase so we're going to go back up again we're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch so there's one and there's two so that's what we're going to repeat for round 13 one double crochet into the next three stitches there's one there's two and there's three and then the next one we'll get two doubles into the same stitch So round 13 is one double, one double, one double, two doubles. One double, one double, one double, two doubles. All the way around until we get back to our starting point. This is starting the brim of the hat. All right, I've made it to the end of round 13. Your last stitch should have two double crochets into it. Now we're gonna be back up to 60 stitches again. So we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. Now we're going to start round 14 and we're going to do another round of increases. So we're going to chain one and now we're going to put four double crochets in a row and then we'll put our two double crochets into the next. Remember we always start right there into our very first stitch. So there's one, two, three, and four and then our next stitch will have two doubles into the same stitch so there's one and two and that's what we're going to repeat for round 14. one double crochet into the next four stitches there's one two three four and then two doubles into the next and now we're going to repeat this pattern one double one double one double one double two doubles so four in a row and then two into the next all the way around until we get back to our starting point all right i have made it to the end of round 14. your last stitch should have had two doubles in it and now you should have a total of 72 stitches we're going to end by slip stitching into our first double crochet round 16 <laughs> we're going to decrease back down again lots of increasing and decreasing okay so now we're going to work single crochet i'm going to continue working in my same color if you want to change colors you know that's up to you but what i'm going to do is chain one which does not count as a stitch 
I want to work four um, single crochets in a row and then I want to decrease over the next two stitches. So I'm going to go into the very first stitch and that will be my first single crochet. So there's one, two, three, and four. Now the neck, then I'm going to decrease over the next two. So I'm going to go into the next one and drop a loop and into the one after that, drop a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three. So there's your single crochet decrease. Again, one single crochet into the next four. There's one, two, three, and four and then single crochet decrease over the next two and this is the pattern for round 15. one single crochet into the next four and single crochet decrease over the next two so i'm going to go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to my starting point. All right, I've made it around to the round of, uh, end of round 15. You should have ended in a decrease. And now we're back to 60 stitches again. So we're gonna go ahead and end now by slip stitching into our first single crochet. We don't wanna go into this chain one right here, but the first single crochet. And we're going to slip stitch into it like that. Now round 16 will be my finishing round so I'm going to chain one and go back into that same stitch and single crochet and I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch around no increasing no decreasing final round one single in every stitch until you get back to your starting point Just like that. Okay, I've made it to the end of round 16. 60 stitches still. Go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first single crochet. And now we can tie this off. And now we're gonna need to hide any remaining tails that we have. All right, it's finished. Now my daughter is very much like me and she loves the bling and sparkle. So she picked out a brooch for her hat as you can see in the photos in the beginning but I think it turned out really cute now the visor part is not meant to stick way out it's meant to be more of a bonnet style uh, visor if that makes sense sort of old-fashioned look and that's kind of what I was going for now um, I can tell you if you prefer it to be more of a visor type hat you can leave those uh, last two rows of single crochets off and then you could uh, use fabric stiffener to block uh, the brim. But like I said, I wanted mine to be uh, come down a bit to make it look a little bit more old fashioned, but that's it. Now remember, if you haven't made this dress yet to match it, I'm gonna put a link to that on the screen um, below in the description box and in the comment section. You gotta have the matching set. Adorable, adorable. Um, Thanks. And remember, this hat not only will go with, I mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. It'll go with other hats that I have made for Evelyn. You just make the appropriate color to match if I was to make this hat in pink and another adorable set. Um, and I might just do that. I might make one solid pink with no white to match this. But anyways, I hope you guys liked uh, my tutorial. Hopefully you were able to follow along okay. Um, and remember, look in the description box for links for both of those dresses that you can make hats for. And um, that, that's it. Uh, I'll put a playlist over there on the uh, right hand side of all my crochet tutorials. Don't forget to give this video a like, a subscribe, and check me out on Instagram too, Facebook if you wish. Uh, thanks everybody. Have a good day.